So Chandrayaan 2 is about to land on the moon now. But for those of you who don't know what Chandrayaan 2 is and if you've been hiding under a rock like Cyrus here, well, it is India's second mission to the moon which took off on the 22nd of July 2019 and is due to land on the 7th of September. Uh, I've been trying to wrap my head around this. Why is it taking 48 days to reach the moon? Aapke maths to bahut sahi hai. 22nd July to 7th September. Okay, let me explain. Chandrayaan 2 has three components to it. There's an orbiter, there's a lander called Vikram, and there's a rover in that called Pragyan. And all of this took off on the 22nd of July from Sri Kota here in India. It was supposed to take off actually on the 14th of July, but there was a helium leak, so they had to postpone the launch. Firbi, it took off on the 22nd of July, and let's have blast off. There it goes. That's Chandrayaan for you. Okay. Now, the thing is, you ask why 48 days? Well, we have in India we have to do in India. Cyrus, it is like, uh, man, you are the hero splendor pe moon pe ja rahe ho, compared to a Suzuki Hayabusa. The Busa may be fast, but the hero splendor is fuel efficient. So for that, what we're doing is, we're doing something called a slingshot maneuver. <clears throat> so the Chandrayaan has to go around the earth, around the earth, around the earth. Wait, 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 wait. The moon is only 3.8 something lakh kilometers away, right? So why can't we go in a straight line? You're very correct. It's 3.84 lakh km to yeah. the moon but we have to go around and around and around like this to get out of the earth's gravity by using very little fuel for which they have these orbit raising maneuvers uh, six times they have started uh, chandrayaan 2's engines to lift the orbit and then on the 20th of august it managed to escape earth's orbit and getting closer and closer to the moon now okay. and here it's got five orbit lowering maneuvers which will bring the orbiter to within 100 km of the moon surface so this pura maneuver fuel bachaning ke liye basically basically the whole cost is only about 980 crores mm -hmm. whereas nasa spent a whole lot more to get neil armstrong from Earth to the moon in just four days on the Apollo 11. Yeah. On Friday, the 6th of September, or in India it will be 1.55 am on the 7th of September, the lander, which is called Vikram by the way, will land on the south pole of the moon and it will land karega, which is called a soft landing. They don't want too much of the moon dust flying up from the lander. And from that, this will be a six-wheeled uh, rover. Niklega. This is called Pragyan. And this Pragyan will do the whole experiments on the moon. Just one day? Yes, Cyrus. One lunar day. One lunar day is actually equal to 14 days on Earth. Oh. So for 14 days, it will go and conduct experiments. And specifically, it's going to look for water beneath the surface of the moon. And what about the orbiter, which the lander on the What will happen? He will be What do you mean? He will be Yes, the orbiter will carry on circling the moon for about a year or maybe it will be two years to circle it. Okay. 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 Okay.